So this is a book I would recommend to everybody to read. Hardcore Redemption in Law, Commercial Freedom and Release, David E. Robinson. Just wanted to have a little look at this um, show you what this says here about democracy. It's chapter 24. So de facto or de jure? De facto, not according to law, but in fact, de jure. According to law, by right. The de facto government cannot be charged with treason, but the officials in the de facto government must still recognise the inalienable rights of the people under the government de jure. If the officials in the de facto government deny the inalienable rights of the people, the officials are a treason to the government de jure. All the governments still have to accept the fact that men and women have inalienable rights. So the people's rights, inalienable means it can never be taken away. They're gifted to you from God, the creator. Now, what we have really in every country in the world is a de facto government. They're fraudulent. They're not, they're not there by right at all. They're actually a private bank and military organisation acting on behalf of the Rothschilds. That's who they're really working for. Private banks. And, um, yeah, you're given titles. So you're, you're a person. You're given the title of Mr, Miss, Mrs or Ms. Which are all the lowest rank that you can hold in the military. You're a non-combatant officer, I believe is what it's called. Now, what happens when you're in the army? Well, you don't have any rights. You follow orders and you're given privileges and benefits for good behavior if you follow those orders. Now, people who are frustrated and go around protesting and going to rallies and all this type of stuff who haven't got their standing corrected and don't really know what they're doing, um, they're going to be considered belligerents against the state, an insubordinate who's not going to follow orders. And when they act out and don't follow those orders, they're going to get whacked and have all of their property seized. And they're going to be like, how, how can anybody do this? You know, because they don't know who they are. They don't know how to write their name and they don't have the correct paperwork. So when martial law gets implemented, when the economy collapses and people start going mad, this is what's going to happen. All because they failed to do a little bit of research. They wanted to go off, protest and vote and all the things that never work and never did any actual proper research. So when you're in the military, you stand at your post and that's where your mail comes in. <laughs> so this is how they keep you locked in the system. As soon as you crack open that seal on the envelope they give you, you've now entered into the world of the dead. So this is why when I made that video of how to send back their paperwork, you're not contracting with them. If you open that, then you're part of the dead. Just entered into the underworld. So, de facto government, it's totally fraudulent. It's a private bank and military cartel organisation acting on behalf of the Rothschilds. And see, the other problem as well is, if you're still carrying things like a passport, driver's licence, public service card, all of their licences, that's all their fr fraudulent fictional paperwork. But there's a Roman maxim in law that states fraud merits fraud, which means as long as you're carrying all of those fraudulent documents, the state's fraudulent documents, then it's okay. You're participating in it. So it's important. You need to correct your standing and know who you are. Because the ones who really got genocided in, in wars like World War II, not the ones with the big noses and the small hats that run the world, not them. It was the, the whites that actually got genocided. The ones who knew who they were, had the correct paperwork, and knew how to write their name, they were not touched. Chaos.